Alright, hey you guys, Miss Drinker here. Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be my relaxer day, my texturized day, like what I do when I texturize my hair and how I texturize my hair. I'm not going to show everything because it's going to be kind of implied. Um, the week upcoming, I um, conditioned my hair using um, my favorite conditioner now, which is um, this stuff here. It makes your hair really, really greasy, and I love it. It prevents breakage on my hair, and I just can't get enough of that. If I don't use that, I use this conditioner right here with oil, and it gives me the same result. All right, so I deep conditioned my hair. I conditioned it with that, so my hair is moisturized and kind of has a little greasy texture to it, which I really, really like. What I'm going to use today is a couple of things. Um, the relaxer, I'm using, not the relaxer, you guys get the relaxer, the texturizer I'm using today is the Just For Me Texture Softener. And I love it. I've been using this one since I texturized my hair. All right, so here's the texturizer here, uh, the relaxer here, right here with the activator. And it does come with the oil. I'm gonna use all of the oil in my relaxer. It usually tells you to use half of it. I'm gonna use all of it in there. Um, it comes with the neutralizing shampoo. I have a bigger shampoo that's neutralizing. I will be using that. Um, I have bobby pins and a plastic cap. And um, people used to relax their hair like this a while ago, but I haven't seen any videos lately where you relax half your hair and then relax the next half later so I'm doing that I basically I'm gonna put the cap on and bobby pin it in place so that this doesn't get texturized and the bottom half gets texturized and then I can rinse it out and then do the top part and rinse that out forward like so I have my gloves and I have my grease to protect the ends of my hair that are previously previously relaxed so let's go ahead and get started so I am going to go ahead and um, put my bag on and my bobby pins are going to hold the bag in place I have my bobby pins here People uh, used to relax their hair like this years ago, and you would see videos of people doing this. But now, you may you mainly see people just relax their hair the the regular way. But <laughs> I'm too scary. I'm too scared that I'm gonna mess up my hair if I don't if I relax it all at the same time, and I feel like it would it will come out uneven. So that's the main reason why I relax my hair this way. <laughs> okay, because I'm scary. All right, so I am going to go ahead and pour everything in here. Pouring the activator in. I, have, I would say I had medium density um, hair, so this hopefully will be enough for my medium density hair. A lot of people say, oh, I have thick hair. I have thick. My hair is not thick. My hair is like medium to regular density. Okay. I mix that together. Now I'm going to put the oil in there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, grease the ends of my hair. And this does have petroleum jelly in it. So um, I'm just putting it on my ends so that my ends are protected. Uh, grease that I'm using is this one right here. African Pride Magical Grow. I like to use this. I tried to find something that had um, petroleum jelly. I guess I could have used just regular blue magic. That would work too. Okay, I'm going to put my gloves on. And 
And I have my phone here, and I'm gonna put it on the timer. Okay, now that I put it all on my hair, on my roots, I'm just going to start smoothing it in. Okay, so I finished relaxing the back half of, not relaxing, but texturizing the back half of my hair. So now I'm going to take my bobby pins out. So everything's pinned in place. Now I'm going to take the top part of my hair out. I'm going to split my hair in half. I'm going to put grease on it again. Same thing I did last time. All on my ends. Super saturate my hair all the way to the ends of my hair. Okay, so I'm finished with my hair. My hair is texturized now. Um, it looks really flat right now because I just texturized it, but it's, I don't know, it gets curly again. So it'll get curly again, but right now it's like super straight. And you can see parts that are starting to get curly all over again. And um, yeah, um, my hair feels good but I'm gonna deep condition my hair now. And I like to mix my deep conditioners. I have this Crema Nature Pure Honey um, hair mask that I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna try this um, right here. Um, I got this at the beauty supply store. And I'm just gonna put it in this container. Kinda of has some leftover in it. I'm gonna take a glob of this out. I need a lot of conditioner because my hair takes a lot so and I'm gonna take a glob out of this all right and I'm gonna take some oil um, this is not my favorite oil so that's why I'm using it up it is walnut oil so um, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this in here not too much I just like oil in my in my deep conditioner. I feel like it um, does it like soaks in better. I think I'm gonna put some protein in here. Even though I did um, two weeks ago, I put a protein treatment in my hair, but I just feel like my hair kind of needs it. So I'm gonna use this and mix it in with my deep conditioner. And this is uh, the 
generic form of it's a 10 deep conditioning keratin um, repair strengthener so I'm gonna pour some of that in here because I feel like my hair needs it I'm gonna be under the um, heating cap for about an hour since I just uh, uh, texturized my hair and I'm getting minimum shedding which is really good since I really didn't de I detangled my hair but I probably could have did a better job alright so I just put all of my deep conditioner in um, so yeah my hair is fully saturated now so I'm gonna deep condition for an hour and um, this is my heating cap that I use I put uh, a cap over it so that it really locks in the heat and I will be back in an hour, all right? All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do after I have texturized my hair and deep condition it is I am going to style it and I'm gonna show you the products that I use after I texturize my hair, all right? And the main products I use is uh, this right here and I always use some kind of leave-in that has protein in it, so you can get it's a tin with the keratin in it or you can get the generic form of the same thing at Sally's so I just go back and forth this is kind of expensive so I use a spiraling I barely have any left so I'm gonna use this today and I'm gonna be sectioning off my hair and I do have my water bottle if my hair gets dried out I'm gonna empty this out so I'm going to spray a lot of the leave-in um, where I relax, texturize, relax, texturize, whatever you want to call it. Where I put the texturizer at. Alright, so I'm using this on my ends because it really moisturizes my ends of my hair and keeps it moisturized, like, conditioned for a, for a week, at least a week. I could go longer if I want, but I wash my hair every week, so it won't be itchy. So, um, after a week's over, my hair is still conditioned well. I can easily detangle it with my fingers, and I don't run into any problems with dryness. So that's why I'm using this. Okay, I wanted to show you guys... Um, my short hair in the center of my head how it's been growing because it was sh it was shorter and now it's slowly getting longer which is really exciting it still can't reach the hair down here but um, it's growing and I can't believe that it's finally growing it's taken me years to really get this hair to this length and um, usually it just gets to a certain length and then breaks off all right, so that's it. I got my hair in a bun, the style I always freaking wear. It's ridiculous. It's really sad, but um, it's the easiest way to me maintain my hair and keep my hair growing. And um, I haven't run into any issues with my hair yet, which is really great. Um, and I will have that video up for you guys so you guys can know how I'm maintaining my hair and actually getting my hair to grow, especially the short hair in the middle of my head. Alright, so I will see you beautiful people later. Peace and love.